Let's get right now back here with Hitman 2, Sound Assassin for some more uh, killing. Finish the Japan chapter without, uh, you know, with a little bit of incident last time. So we're headed somewhere else. The only thing I know about this next chapter is that it's called Basement Killing. Two notes, as a matter of fact. Um, number one is that uh, I've been told by a dearly beloved Silent Assassin, a fellow agent in the comments. I think it's the Elite MYT 8253. My apologies if I'm saying that wrong. Do correct me in the comments. Uh, but two useful pieces of information. Number one, it's possible that when I lost all my guns and I was assuming it was a bug, and it may still be, but it might be that um, I had to hit start rather than load at some point. I kind of assumed that start was just there for if somehow you lost the file that was that, where it saves at the beginning of each mission. Start was just a, a way of letting you load the same file, but just from a particular mission in case the save, like maybe you ran out of save room for to, to store this many save files or whatever. Because as far as I can tell, Wait, hang on. Never mind. We do have one as early as Anathema, but regardless, point is, I'll try and keep hit load every time for now on just to be absolutely sure. And the other thing is basically that I don't need to necessarily be in 100% complete stealth to anesthetize someone. And this is something I gotta practice because apparently you can uh, you can creep up behind someone up to the point that they uh, that they start to turn around because they hear you, and you can actually sprint up to them and grapple them with the anesthetic, even though the game says specifically you have to be in stealth mode, which is a skill that would have come in handy many times already. So I'm thinking before before I get too serious about completing the mission we're carrying on with here, which is basement killing, um, I might want to just try practicing it on some random people a few times first. But before all that, let's listen to this briefing, shall we? Seven, this is Agency Diana here. Read you loud and clear. So far, no news on Father Vittorio. Sorry to hear it. we've got a neat little mission for you in Malaysia. Okay. In Kuala Lumpur, that should be safe. You will find the headquarters of a very talented hacker and kleptology expert, oh. Charlie Sijan. Oh, he he's a we're meant to kill. He has steal an extremely valuable piece of software. It works How do you a steal software? In military <laughs> software and was until recently the exclusive property of the US government. I see. With this nifty piece of software in the hands of an adversary, any incoming missile would be detected as American, which renders an otherwise clever missile oh. shield worthless. Oh, I see. Our client wants to retrieve this piece of code and Real exterminate peace situation. Charlie Sijan and all records of this code. I think He's that's a wise idea, probably. <laughs> company ...called Kari Juarez Incorporated Computer Systems. The Their Dodge International War. sealed off and inaccessible. Your objective is to assassinate Charlie Sijan and place a small dongle on the main server of Kani Wara's incorporated computer system. That will disable it this all? This device will allow outside access to the systems. Ah, at which point you can just delete everything. There are guards with intercoms everywhere. Closed circuit surveillance of all areas and elevators. Neat. Metal detectors and oh. reinforced steel doors with mm. electronic locks. Wow. Your target is in the second basement. Okay. Continue from there with the direct elevator to Kani Wara's main office. You will have to shut down some of the surveillance systems by the elevator. The oh, to, to get the direct elevator to the next second basement. Is this footage of Charlie? It's from his sixth birthday. From oh. What we know you should be able to recognize <laughs> him from this. Get your equipment. Okay. Locker, Whatever that means. Find Charlie Sijan. 137 in the again. Area. Good. Kill him and access Kaniwara's by the direct elevator. Alrighty. Oh, 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 or, or the, sorry, uh, we find him in the basement and kill him then, and then the direct elevator is to bring us to this, the, the, like, the server where we plug in the dongle that will let them access it and delete everything. If, if I understand correctly, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we've got video of him as a six-year-old, and we should be able to recognize him here. Okay, well, glasses, that's pretty distinctive. Well, I don't know why you would show me him as a happy small child. <laughs> now I don't want to kill him. I mean, I didn't especially want to anyway, I suppose. Glasses, that'll, that ought to be useful, though. Dude, whoever's holding the camera is is absolutely losing their mind. Okay, neat. And this photograph is also of the kid. Map of the... <laughs> Sorry, so what do we got? Ground floor, basement, and lower basement. So lower basement is where he will be. Okay, well, this is pretty straightforward. I guess this room will be, like, full of computers and stuff. Uh, we got some elevators here. Oh, oh, so maybe the whole plugging in of the dongle happens next mission once we get this elevator going. Interesting. There's the laundry area, which might mean we can find some outfits in there. There's something of interest around this elevator and the staircase. And the ground floor is, floor is rather expansive. Uh, over here, we got the fire department with an exclamation mark on it. The food department with an exclamation mark on it. Our pickup is in Walker 137 here. I have to presume we come in from these, like, revolving doors here. Well, maybe they're not, they're not revolving, but these entryways here. Uh, there's the laundry chute here. Maybe that's a way to get a weapon in bypassing a uh, metal detector. There's toilet men here. 
Watch out for the toilet men, everybody. And seemingly more bathrooms here. Washrooms, water closets, whatever you want to call them. Right, I see. Because there's security scanners here, I suppose. That's what they... That, that, those will be metal detectors. So if we pop into the laundry, we could drop something down a chute. Get through without it. Uh, so that's unfortunate, because it means I'm going to have to be careful and uh, absolutely avoid taking more weapons than I really need, so which might be a problem if we hang around in Malaysia after this. I didn't 100% catch all of what she said in the briefing, but I can check it any time, so let's just carry on in there and start uh, trying to figure some stuff out. So what what am I going to bring? Bringing the katana seems maybe a bit much, as much as it would be fun. I think bringing the ballers SD is wise. Why won't it let me pick them? Oh, it will, okay. Sorry, you have to, you have to, even when it highlights it, it doesn't mean you're actually highlighting it. You have to hold it. Like, it goes, eh, and makes a noise, but then you have to hover down a bit. Until it makes the noise again, and then you can add it. It's a bit weird. So the Baller's SD seems wise, and aesthetic, as always, is probably worth carrying. I don't imagine that would set off a metal detector. Okay, we're, we're, we're accruing some weapons here, so we still got the deagle and everything. So it hasn't, it hasn't yeeted all my stuff just yet. That's probably all I really need, and for most missions, that's probably the case. Any situation where I'd want to use the fiber wire, the, the silenced ballers would probably do, provided I have any ammo for them. But if I'm not getting into open gunfights... The seven bullets it starts you with should be enough, right? Considering they're pretty, they're, they they hurt pretty hard. Also, I've been told you can get a sawed-off shotgun if you get enough silent assassin rankings, which is pretty exciting. So let's start with this. Um, like I said before, it's a pretty grizzly-looking 47 image. Before I get too far into the mission, oh, this is a cool setting. Uh, mm. I would like to just practice the Quite anesthetic. Impressive. No time to enjoy the view. My work is underground. No kidding. Are there already police around? Oh, interesting. I don't know how I ended up around here, but that's nice of them to put me, start me around here so that if I'd started with a big weapon, I could hide it. All right, it gives you the fiber wire anyway, regardless of if you pick it or not. Per me, killed 14, William C. Pick up Karen lunch, all of which means absolutely nothing to me. So I'm not, I'm not, not supposed to be here, right? No one will think I'm weird for being where I am. Oh, the music is dramatic around here. So obviously this will get me shot to pieces immediately, but, uh... So I understand how the anesthetic works. Am I allowed to just use it on people's faces? Uh, not on people's faces. Oh, but you can actually use it in the even when they've seen you and you're in a fight. Okay, that was something I didn't, I wasn't realizing before. I assumed because they said you have to use it in stealth mode that you you, you basically were screwed out of using it the second you were detected. When in reality, a lot of uh, earlier times when an enemy saw me, I could have just run behind them even once they started shooting and everything. Man, that would have made some early missions way easier. <laughs> I kept feeling like I, I that should have been how it works because it felt like there should be some way to, for this elite superpowered hitman to knock someone out, even if they start to notice you for a half second. So you can just sprint around them and, and grab all them with that. I did not realize that was an option. My apologies, that makes a lot of the rest of this game a lot clearer. But, um, it seems like we might not even need a disguise, because we're not considered all that weird around here for the time being. Uh, so let's start by heading over to... Uh, is it weird if I run? No, that's totally normal. I'm fine to run. Let's head to laundry here, and see about, uh, dropping our guns down the chute. Notice, only laundry and shafts. Oh, is that right? <laughs> what about these guns? Haha, <laughs> I like that. No, 47, please drop them better. No. <laughs> Wait, is this... Am I, am I misreading the situation? Is this not how you get the... The gun's down here. Yum, yum. Eh. No, I think I'm I'm reading that wrong. Maybe you can put them in a hamper or something. What, you want? what do I want? Well, I I was hoping to get my guns out of the suit. <laughs> Japan and Malaysia, though. You surely are glo globe trotting in this game. Okay, so um, I want, I'm gonna let me head back to that laundry room and check it a little less stupidly. <laughs> and maybe they're misreading the situation, and it is not in fact how you. Uh, why is it not? Okay, you can open it. I guess I'm just bad at opening doors. It's fine. So sorry. You know what the right way says. Oh, is that right? Well, my apologies. It's all right. I'll close the door and then you won't have to worry about it. No, sorry. Can I not do that? Yeah, that's okay. I'm not going to be here for very long. I'm just sniffing the, um, Shiraka, whatever these I are. You know, la. All right, all right. What do you want? Nah! <laughs> I didn't make as expeditious an exit as they wanted. Okay, so for some reason I'm not allowed in that room, but I am allowed in the, uh, the room with the hampers. I guess only the employees would be allowed to restock the laundry tabs or whatever those are. Oh, unless they were about to tell me I'm not allowed in here either. Is that why they're following me in here? So sorry. Yeah, so okay, I'm not allowed in here either. But if I'm in here, what can I do? Like, what is this shoot for? Can I vault in or...? No idea, I don't seem to be able to do anything in here. That might just be a situation where, uh, I can... It, it's because that guard will follow me in there, I could then anesthetic them right quick and get their outfit, in theory. I was assuming that would be how I would get a, uh, a weapon down without bringing it through the security scanner. So if I understand correctly here, um, if 
I walk through the gun with the gun, they'll it'll be bad news for me, right? Everyone will know immediately. Yes. <laughs> By the by, anything happen if I like check in at the front? Hi. Hello. I need some information on the way to get to the basement, please. <laughs> Not conspicuous at all. Please, sir. You know can go basement. Okay, good. Well, that I mean that'll ditch me. Maybe you'll let me go to the basement. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you give me directions? I just flash my cutest smile at each of the receptionists and Lala. see if them. Sorry, la. No can help you. La. Okay. No problem. I'll try the next receptionist. Hey, any chance I can go to the basement? <laughs> Hi. Hello. I need some information on the way to get to the basement, please. Holy sir. You know. I love these like fuchsia suits that everyone's got though. These are super chic. Fuchsia, is that the right color? I'm not good with colors, sorry. Right, they all say the same thing. Uh, so let's have a look around the bathrooms and everything. The fire department, what the heck would that be useful for? Well, because my issue is none of these disguises would actually... I still have to walk through these scanners regardless of what kind of disguise I've got, so... Unless I can get my guns into the basement somehow else, I'm going to have to not do this with the guns. Uh, which probably would mean I want to load the save and not take them at all so that I don't risk leaving them behind somewhere, right? Can I just walk into the fire department, you think? Interesting. Neat. What happens if I go... How? Hey, hi. Oh, what do you want? Uh, just, uh, I just wanted to be a fireman. That's what I've always wanted my whole life. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm here. Please don't crush a poor man's dreams. Oh, you get a fire axe here. Neat. Um, anything useful in these lockers? I think they're going to get security on me. But they'll be looking for a hitman when I'm going to be a fireman. <laughs> Nothing strange going on here. Looking for a suspicious bald person. That sure would be a problem if I didn't have this fire suit, huh? Yeah, you guys better catch this thing, otherwise I'm gonna I'm gonna be pretty upset about you. Oh, they might have noticed. Wait, did they notice? They noticed! They noticed my baldness through the fire suit somehow. By the way, can I leave this way? No, I can't. Um, right. So yeah, I'm figuring that the elevator will bring us up to the higher floors of this whole situation. And that'll be it. That'll be its own mission, I imagine. Where we go to plug in the dongle and everything. So mostly what we're trying to do here is just... Well, I wasn't sure exactly what is meant by disabling the surveillance. Agency, Diana oh, that's just for the elevator. Right, right, right. Sorry. I did know that. So they did say I'm not allowed in the basement. Um, but we don't know how guarded specifically it is. And additionally, if I can get in through the... Uh, I, I suppose if I could sneak into this way and then hide in this room looking using the keyhole to look at to see if there's any people there... I could theoretically get sneak in and grab a fire outfit without anyone noticing, and then uh, I wouldn't be considered weird going down the fire stairs to get to the basement. There's a thought. Sorry, there are a lot of people in this bathroom. I guess some of these people's outfits could be better suited to uh, being around here. I mean, I've got a formal enough suit. You'd think I would be allowed. I've not yet given up on the idea of uh, getting the guns in there somehow. It feels like that laundry chute should let you do it somehow. Maybe you need a different outfit for doing that, but let's just start by... Uh, Going through the metal detector without the guns and seeing how far I am allowed to go. Good, okay. So it's not that the anesthetic or the fiber wire trips it. Good to know. Uh, so over here is the elevator which goes to the basement, but I, they've expressly told me I'm not allowed here, so that won't work. And of course, I won't be allowed through the fire stairs either, so. Getting this far with. Oh, there's a pizza person! Oh, hey! I'm not, allowed in the, I'm not allowed in the elevator, but can I have a pizza anyway? I guess that's a no. Although that kind of looks like it could be a useful disguise, doesn't it? You just stand there getting crushed by an elevator door, huh? It's just kind of what you do on your way to go deliver the- Oh, you've got suspicion on me, sorry. <laughs> I was being suspicious standing there and stuff. Neat, so basically all this does is get me to this little foyer here, unless I've got some kind of useful disguise or something. So I think I would like the fire to try the firefighter outfit, and let's do that uh, sans guns for the moment. That said, uh, that means I will be gunless for the next mission, but if we've got the fiber wire, it won't be all bad, will it? Right, so let me try and stealth in there and grab myself a fire uh, firefighter outfit. <laughs> Maybe the, the person in the suit won't actually care. They see me going all sneaky sneaky behind the firefighter here. That person in the suit has is, is got way more bigger fish to fry than me right now. Like, I have six different sales to close this hour. I guess I also don't know how sophisticated the metal detectors are. It could also be that it doesn't, it just says if there's anything metal at all. It doesn't tell me them where on my person it is. So if I brought the axe through and had guns in my pocket, it would go off and I'd be like, well, it's just the axe. And they'd be like, all right, go through. And I might be able to sneak guns in that way. Or it might not be that way. It might be that if you have guns, they know they see some metal in your pocket and they know you're full of crap. Did we have heard this theme before? I'm not sure. Oh, I see. One of the guards noticed me doing that, huh? And they're trying to get in here, but I've like barged the door and so now they're just kind of frozen there until I let them through. Interesting. Interesting. Well, we, I mean, we don't have to. We don't. I can. Uh, oh, whoops. I opened the door the other way. You got a headache over there? Or are you getting orders through an earpiece? With a title like Basement Killing, I wasn't expecting the basement of like a, a big fancy office building. 
I was expecting much more like a, a dingy old cellar in someone's house somewhere. In theory, if we're taking out the target, uh, the fiber wire should be good enough, I would think. That's not my foremost concern in why I'm bringing the axe. Uh, I'm tempted to bring the axe because I assume disabling a surveillance system involves smashing something. Right, because I am I keep dashing over to this door, and probably people on the other side of this wall are hearing that, and it's throwing off their roots, which is why it feels a little random. That's probably a big part of it. It's a pretty neat environment, though. It's kind of like the most urban we've ever gotten. Like, we've had, like, hotels in cities and stuff before, but never, like, a big, posh office building like this, right? Uh, up to this point, I mean. Do office buildings usually have a firefighter's room like this with people always in, like, full gear? <laughs> Just, like, ready for action? Seems a bit defeatist, doesn't it? It depends on the country. I can't say I've ever seen it. I mean, I guess if there's going to be a fire in this big... Because I assume this building has a lot of computers in it and that computer fires get out of hand quickly. He'd want everyone suited up for that, but it's never really thought about it. Actually, in fact, can I even just get around you when you look to the left, to the right? Oh my god, I can, sort of. So no one should know now, right? I should be completely incognito? There is a guard there, but I could probably squeeze past them. Oh, it's rough. It's rough. Oh, it's rough. Oh yes, a salute to you as well. Uh, just let me through here before you notice things, please. They noticed, didn't they? Crap, so can I run, or how do I do that? What's the point of that if... Surely I can run. Some disguises care more about whether you run than others. Maybe I can only run if I've got the fire axe because it looks like I'm going to do something. <laughs> My apologies once again, I know the time that I get this. I have a, I have an awful focused face. I'm always like doing this, and scratching my lips and stuff. Like that. <laughs> So sorry. Oh, you know, like scared the crap out of me. I'm afraid. It was that it was a person's voice too. It was like <laughs> the gen gen genuine bona fide experience of being lost in your mo in your thoughts, like focusing on something, and then someone's like, "Hey, how's it going?" And you're like, <laughs> "I forgot I existed on a plane of existence that had people." What realm is this again? At this point, the guard routes do seem inconsistent enough that this probably is not what you are. One of the ways you're like quote meant to do it unquote. Of course, there's no wrong way to do it. It's like a you know, like a Metal Gear Solid mission or like a like a Zelda puzzle. Well, a, a, you know, an open world Zelda puzzle. The only wrong way to do it is to tell someone else how to do it. <laughs> but it seems inconsistent enough that, to where the, it seems like they're probably not expecting you to just like play the sightlines on this one. Uh, but that's why it'll make me feel really cool if I get it. Nailed it. So I had the, I seem to have the best results when it's <laughs> actually it's quite funny. Not when I deliberately ran by the thing, but if I ran just enough to get to the um this room that I'm in now, which I thought I had to at first because I thought someone was coming out immediately, that amount of running seemed to be just enough that it sort of synced them up in a in the perfect way that they all come back in like this right after as well. Which is just delightful. So now the question is how how bad is it for me to run? Oh yeah, they hate that. Okay. I was able to get just as far as the fire stairs, but that was then. It, then everything was bad. Hey, where do you walk, by the way? <laughs> that uh, important entrepreneurial type person just vaulted that couch in a totally normal way. Oh my God! Wait, why am I at max alert? What you want? Did this person just get mad at me through a wall? Hmm. Maybe it doesn't matter. 
<laughs> okay, that was weird. Okay, so I'm thinking I walk just till I'm at this corner and then I just book it through the door and maybe I have just enough time that it's not an issue. Oh, okay, I think I got away with that. I don't know what the hell was with that one guard going, what are you doing here? <laughs> Threw a wall at me, but it's probably fine. This door is locked. Oh, well, that's not very helpful. Can I bash it down with a fire axe, you think? Oh, here's the guard who was angry at me the whole time. Okay, well, I would never guess that this is was locked. Why would a fire exit be locked? Well, I guess it's only a one-way thing. Does that mean there's no key? I'm not going to find a key in here? Or is there just a key sitting somewhere? Uh, not in here. Not in here. Maybe there's a key in one of these lockers or something. Not a key anywhere. So that you just can't go through that way? Or can you bash it down with a fire axe, maybe? Don't seem to be able to bash it down with a fire axe. <laughs> We'll just note something as unexpected has come up, and so uh, you may see a wardrobe change sometime soon if I have to stop the recording and carry it on another day. But I do just want to quickly try going here where I'm not allowed, sneaking behind here, and then pulling out the anesthetic and yoinking your outfit as you come in to be like, hey, you're not allowed in there. Wait, that does happen at some point, right? <laughs> Thought it did. Ah, here you come. You didn't really do that the way I expected it to happen, but okay, fine. And if I anesthetic ties you, how easy is it to get your outfit? Because since we can't get through that fire door, maybe with the firefighter outfit we can get as far as the elevator, but it seems like it wouldn't be good, right? So I assume because I... Whoa! Okay, so even though I'm very blatantly the wrong ethnicity, uh, you guys still only have a somewhat caution with me. Like, you, you slowly build up uh, suspicion with me to the point that I could probably dip through here with the hope of getting as far as the uh, elevator. In fact, it almost seems as though I, I have less suspicion with this outfit than uh, with the firefighter's outfit, which I don't... I will admit I don't fully understand why, but um, with this outfit I should be able to get to up here, right? No, no what you want? Why not? What you want? What you want? You bought it to what you want? Well, that uh, got me through anyway, but just not in a very stealthy way. <laughs> oh yeah, there are guards all about here. But they don't know anything's up, up from up top. Oh, they maybe know a little bit. So here's the fire exit, so... It's locked... Wait, but I can pick the lock from this... Oh, okay. Wait, hang on. This is not... Oh, sorry, this is not this door. I uh, hear, I see. So this door is unlocked now, or it's only openable from that side? Or, I don't really understand what's happening. Alright, clearly I'm missing some stuff, and I need to uh, check out some more of these exclamation marks. Anyhow, let's head to food services and see what's up there. I guess you don't like me being in here, is that right? You don't seem to have a problem with it. Sorry, pizza ordered for Mr. Sijon in lower basement. Oh, neat. So sorry, you know the right for excess. So being the pizza guy is, is one way. Hang on, these elevators up here, they don't actually work though, They don't because they don't have the elevator logo. Am I? Do I understand that correctly? But being a pizza guy would be an excellent disguise. I was wondering, I thought that that seemed out of place if it wasn't uh, for anything, but but how would one... So this is where you would pick up the pizza if you were... Cannot go. No excess, la. If you had the outfit, but how would you get an outfit stealthily here? Hang on, let me, let me try this again with walk in here a few times and see what goes on. Because there's one uh, security guard who goes in here really quickly, like really early on in the mission, but maybe... If I had had the anesthetic out earlier, maybe I can just yoink you? No, someone else comes in here and stuff. Now that I'm realizing that that fire escape is locked, that kind of throws my whole plan into jeopardy. I thought that once I got down there with the firefighter outfit, that would be really good. And maybe there's still some application to it. Maybe if you pull a fire alarm somewhere or something. But, as it stands, what if I were to... If I held my anesthetic out here and waited for that pizza person to come by with the pizza. Ooh! Hopefully this guard leaves before then. Oh, nope. Someone saw me way earlier. Right, well, it may not matter. Probably matters a little. Let me just hang out in front of that room and watch what goes on there. Because that, that delivery person goes in, like, immediately. But it only told me that a pizza was delivered when I got close to that room. So does, does that, like, happen when I get near that room? Because if I go in there now, this guard over here will, is likely to see me and or that firefighter. The visitors to the building, like the, the entrepreneurs or whatever who are all in suits, don't seem to notice when I'm somewhere I'm not supposed to be. Like, there was that one, this one over here doesn't care at all if you sneak past them there, for instance. But the guards and firefighters seem to absolutely. So maybe if I wait till you head out, and that gives me an in here. But I feel like the firefighter will notice this, right? 
And now if I were to uh, hide in here with the anesthetic for a bit until someone with an outfit, I can yoink shows up? Like you, I should have gone then, is what that means. Okay. But would I have been able to manage that without the person around the corner seeing? Yeah, probably I would, and I could have dragged the body in here and everything. I spent such a long time on that firefighter thing, I really thought it was going to pan out much better than it did. Hang on, how long are you waiting here? Is it... Can I sneak up behind you, or...? Yeah, maybe that's it. Okay, hang on. Sorry, just one sec. Am I sure that that fire access was locked? Yeah, it's definitely locked. Okay, sorry. So I had to check that because I was like, that seems so weird. I think maybe the idea is I'm allowed to sprint as far as here before you tell me I'm not allowed to be here. Like if I'm here, you don't shoot me out? No, you do. Never mind. Okay, I don't know why it worked that one time. Never mind. The reason I'm trying to get in there quickity quick is if uh, the firefighters see otherwise. Actually, let me... No, okay, that, that seemed to be fine. So I, di I dip in quickly like that. Uh, I wait after a while. Sorry about the flickering at the top there. After a while, uh, guard number one comes in, hangs around for a bit, pretty quickly turns around and walks out. I wait for that door to close so that the firefighter doesn't see this. And then is there is this person... There's no one looking at them, so I can yoink this now, or... Is there a person behind the counter that will see this? Yeah, they come around pretty quick. So probably the better time to grab this person is after they've already received what they're going to receive. But in theory, that guard isn't coming back around for a pretty considerable length of time. So I should have time to wait around sort of with this food delivery person. And actually, really, realistically, if I'm waiting that long, then I may as well just wait outside for the guard to come in and out. Pizza was ordered, and they're soon going to give it to this person. And maybe I can just grab you at this point, and no one that hasn't alerted anyone, maybe? That's kind of what I'm thinking of. And I yoink your outfit and the, uh, the pizza, and then we're good. Well, first of all, let's also hide you. Do I have enough time, though, or does another guard come back in? Uh, okay, if you could come through the door with me, that would be nice. Okay, now your clothes, please. And now I stow this away. Sorry, everyone seemed to have dropped my pizza. Nothing weird is going on, though. I hope you'll understand. Just gotta deliver this to the whoever in the basement. Ooh, you know I'm not the delivery guy. I forgot that that might be an issue. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, sweet. This is a reasonably uh, a reasonably serviceable disguise, it would seem. Oh, don't run there. But, uh... Yep, yep, indeedly. This could be a solid way to the basement. This is one, one way I'm actually allowed in the basement, rather than just having to play sightlines and kind of sneaky to the basement. I presume I would go this way, yes, to get to the basement? That's you waving me along, saying it's okay. Good. To the basement it is. If, I, if I'm getting right as far as him, then I should be able to just fiber wire and then dip, right? It should be as easy as that. I'm, like, supposed to be here and everything. Now, I actually don't know my way to his room from here. Oh, it's still gone on the wrong map. I guess it's this one? Yeah, which means I need to... Oh, I'm, I'm still not on this map, because I didn't do that. I didn't walk out, like, here. Oh, no, that's, sorry, that's where I was. This... Staircase goes down to him, and then also this is where you get to the elevator that we're going to exit out of. Interesting, interesting. Well, I can put a little bit of hustle on as long as no one's looking directly at me, and is not close enough, uh, close by enough to, for it to be a huge issue. Okay, so there are people all over here, so getting down below here. Oh, different guards outfits down here as well, good to note. So am I delivering this to him by going through that door there? Because it seems like it takes me rather close to people's sight lines and everything. Or will they not like me being here? I'm just delivering a pizza, it's nothing weird. Why am I doing this? Oh, he tried to pick the lock on this instead of open the door. I see. Let's try that again without doing something so stupid. <laughs> Just spat all over my screen. But yes, this seems like it would be a pretty viable route to getting down there. Don't know how guarded he is once we get down there, of course, because we've we've not yet been down there ourselves. Am I cool to hang out by the way here, by the way, or do the guards not like that? Because this is this is the most convenient spot to stand if I'm gonna whip in there in a minute. Yeah, I don't seem to mind. Fleck pizza. We deliver! Bugger. 47, we gotta get in the role of a pizza delivery person quickly before we, we get down there so we, we can become convincing if it, if, it, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it should come to that. So let's practice all the key phrases now. Would you like some garlic sticks with that? Garlic sticks? What are garlic sticks, 47? Garlic bread sticks. Sorry, sorry, you're right. Try a new special. Nachos for only $3.99. Get them with your pizza and they're half off. No, 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 we don't sell nachos at a pizza place, 47. We're blowing this. We don't have much time left. <laughs> I don't think it's going to come up. I think you're stressing over nothing. 47, you don't know that. What if it puts in an emergency? 
emergency order for something other than nachos, and we, we haven't practiced that phrase. Oh, I ran way too much, sorry. No one should be in that much of a hurry to deliver a pizza. C-47, if we've had- if we'd had a snazzy cover-up line. I'm sorry, I shouldn't blame you, it's not your fault, it's mine. Not sure I know what they meant by disable the surveillance around the elevator. There were people around the elevator, do they mean for me to just knock them out? I assume not, because that's a little ridiculous. Do they expect me to have one of their outfits? I'm not sure how that would help, and I'm not sure how getting- I'm not sure how easy getting that elevator is anyway, I guess that's my point. 47, I, I should never have doubted you, you're actually the perfect pizza boy. And I mean that in the politest way. Alright, so let's deliver this pizza less like a crazy person, <laughs> and more like someone who's walking casually to deliver a pizza. <laughs> Interesting, I wonder what, if anything, you can do with all this machinery. I don't seem to be getting any problems, but it kind of looks like some of it could be disabled or exploded or something, doesn't it? Speaking of, when I was editing, it seemed- it appeared to me that, uh, the generator that I had- I snuck around that guard with the boulders to shut off, uh, they shot it at one point and blew it up, so I think if you shoot it in the right place, you can blow it up. Okay, so... Do I have a moment to sneak to walk through the door? Or do they notice? Okay, no, you can get through there. Good. So as long as you don't accidentally try picking the lock of that tiny little lockbox on the wall, you're fine. And now we're at the, the floor where our target is actually meant to be, and how many guards are here? Uh, hard to say as of yet. Looks like none. Looks like none. I think it's none. Sweet. Oh, I, I don't know why I, mean, I have to pick up the lock if <laughs> he was expecting a pizza delivery, but whatever. If he's just gonna be in that chair, then a fiber wire which is one and done this. A fiber wiring. I mean, they gave me a video to identify him with, but he's like the only person down here and he's marked on my map, so... Oh, do I, is this a situation if I have to sneak around the chips strewn about the floor so I don't... They don't crunch and make noise? Because <laughs> that's hilarious, if so. I can honestly say this is the first time I've ever had to sneak around... ...noisy chips in a stealth game before. That is hilarious. Can I close this little server door to get around here? I cannot. Uh, is there enough room for me to just sneak around this pile of chips here? I hope so. This guy's living the dream right now. Chips and pizza everywhere. Ah, there is enough room for me here. Good. I'm sorry. I can't deliver that to you if you're lactose intolerant! Get him? Yeah, get him! <laughs> Alright, I forgot I had to let go for the fiber wire to work. It's not like the anesthetic in that way. Interesting. Um, so, oh, Agency, there's a big button here. I've got first objective down, but something weird here. I'm pretty sure he's got a twin brother. You were able to tell that from which? This is Diana. Let me run that through the database. Keep on track with your mission and I'll get back to you as soon as I check this out. Neat. You I'm didn't sound very compressed now. over a radio then. Is there another apartment in the complex? It looks as if he's in one of the buildings. Please check if Kaniwaras has another address here. Always with the good manners and politeness and candor, 47. Neat, so that kind of sounds like the, what we'll be doing next is, uh, once we head up the elevator, we'll be heading uh, on to a, the next target somewhere in this building. Apartment, you said? It didn't seem like an apartment building to me. Think they'll think it's weird that I come back with the pizza? Should I come back having dropped the pizza, or will that be bad? I'm not sure, but... 47, this My objective to disable the surveillance system for the elevator it hasn't cleared, but... Uh, I also don't understand what that means exactly I assume it means this elevator won't just open for me walking up to it but I don't know how I could do anything with these guards hanging around like it, what, what I'm getting at is it makes it sound like I can't just walk to the elevator right now if I try to just turn around turn this corner and go in here it'll turn out poorly for me but I actually also have no idea what else to do is, is that little lock box that I was able to pick the lock on beside the thing how you disable the secure the surveillance or whatever because there's another guard standing there right so they're both looking at each other it's not like i could just yeet out and, and anesthetic them both to get a chance to look at it if i run maybe i could attract this one's attention i don't know but i'm running out of time to n not be a suspicious pizza delivery boy let me try just walking under the elevator hmm? no that doesn't seem to work Up a honey. right so Hmm. Disable the surveillance? Let me just listen to the briefing again. But we've got a neat little mission for you in Malaysia. <laughs> a neat in little Kuala mission. Lumpur, I agree, it is a neat little mission. All those missile guidance, tracking systems, and missile guidance missile software. Will... There are entirely too many Our missiles in the world. You will have to shut down some of the surveillance systems by the elevator. All she says is it's you'll have to shut down the surveillance birthday. by the elevator, which makes what it sound we... like that little, um... Oh wow, everyone's shadow people again. Makes it sound like that little, uh, little, like, lockbox beside the elevator, right? Probably has some kind of, like, switcher or something in it. But there was no way I was just able to pick the lock while the, they were looking at me there. And even if I got a guard's outfit from one of them, you wouldn't think that would let me just pick the lock there on that thing. But I don't see any notable exclamation marks anywhere else. 
You know what I mean? Like, uh, I have to assume that this is this exclamation mark is pointing me to how to disable the security system. Oh, although then you would think it would have been, would have been like right here. So maybe there's something else. I, it's as easy as tapping a button on the computer and they don't mind me doing that. I don't know why they always say a different person's pizza order every time. Surely this per unless that was what they were shouting out the next pizza order to, to be made back to the kitchen. I thought they were telling this person where that pizza was going. And I was like, this is this is supposed to go downstairs, right? That was the whole point. Look at him one-handing that pizza box. So strong. Right, so getting to and taking out our target in this one is pretty easy, although it, it would appear that they are a twin brother. That is a fast elevator. A twin brother and not, in fact, our actual legit target. It's this next bit I'm not sure about. Is it as easy as hitting a button? So, oh, I guess there was a big red button by our target wasn't there and I neglected to hit it, didn't I? Oh, no, okay, so there's a little monitor there that actually is is filming inside the elevator, which I think is the issue. But I can't, like, just breach that. Like, what what happened? How, how would one... Do I just, like, shoot it or what? I mean, I can't... Ow, hey, look, stop stop punching me in the gut. I'm a pizza... I'm just trying to deliver a pizza. This Yeah, there doesn't appear to be a button that, like, turns that off. Maybe, that, maybe the, it was just the button beside the... Let's go check the button beside our actual target. Because 47 started doing stuff in cutscenes, I figured anything to do there would have already been done. That was probably a dense thought to have. Oh, it could be that that red button is a bit like the one in, uh, what am I saying? Shogun Showdown, where it like alerts everyone and brings everyone there. So if I hit that, everyone comes running down. I squeeze past them. Then in theory, the room with the surveillance thing is all empty and I can easily uh, get through there and pick the lock or whatever I need to do. Their hands still clutching an invisible pizza box. To their last fading element, wisps of consciousness, still trying to fulfill their pizza duty. We should aspire to that level of pizza hood at uh, 47. Where'd the body go? There it is. <laughs> Can we drag it around the door in like a normal way, please? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're so tight getting through there. I'm, I never feel like I'm actually going to make it. Also, being realistic, I didn't actually need to sneak the entire way through this room. Won't hear me walk from a certain distance. I bet that's why this room is so big and has so many like servers and things to hide behind is that there'll be you can trigger the alarm with that red button on his desk and then they all come down here and leave your escape route open. <laughs> I never get tired of seeing him pull that thing and just like, yeah, I'm gonna kill someone with this. <laughs> oh, is that where you're figuring the twin brother thing out from there the, from the photograph there? All right. So if I skip this and what does this button do? Uh, I don't seem to be able to hit it, actually. I thought for sure that was what that would be. Then what the heck would this button be about? Maybe it's only a thing that he can hit. Doesn't seem to be much point in hiding the body. I don't think anyone's gonna come down here. But, what then do I do about those two guards by the elevator? It could well be that the the thing that disables the surveillance is not up, is not in that room. There was a little monitor here that said it's currently enabled, but maybe the disabling point is like in this room or something like that. And this is just to let you know whether it's on or off presently. So I, I, I'm not sure what the best way to go about it this is. Sorry, I left my pizza down here. It seems like having the pizza is probably for the best. I guess next thing to try is to get a guard's outfit, which is maybe the purpose of this room here. Only this is a fire exit. So I guess there won't be any guards down there, but there might be some guard who ends up unattended somewhere around here. It's worth a look around at this point anyway. Well, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. It's got, it's fine. It's good. I don't know why anyone would say it wasn't good. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I don't have a good sense of the guards' roots in this room yet. This is the elevator I came down. Fire exit there. Fire exit there. What's beyond this hall here? Uh, little corner. We end up in... This is where we're around the laundry, right? Which, by the way... I said, oh, no, hey, sorry. You know the right way. you're yes. correct about that. No, sorry. Can I not do that? You're correct. Sorry. But I guess in theory, this could be a situation where I could yoink your outfit. So sorry. You know the right way. Yes. Same as I did with the guard up top here. But by the way, what else? The laundry chute. Can we climb up out of here? I didn't seem to be able to drop anything down and I can't climb up. Oh, hey, you've forgotten that I'm a problem. That's convenient for me. G good night. I'll have that outfit. <laughs> it's, you know, I know everyone else still knows, but I'm just trying to think how I would do this stealthy, and I'm just trying to reason it out here. Sorry, give me a second. I'm in the middle of something. Ah, two seconds. Need to get this outfit. Oh, that wasn't the outfit. There we go. Now that I've got this outfit, uh, good. I'll be good. 
Let me try that again and, and yoink that person's outfit from there. And just forgetting the target for a moment, does that give me enough time to disable the whatever? I assume not. I assume... They'll still be suspicious of me fast enough that I won't be able to, like, pick that lock on that little box. Which is what I have to assume is the surveillance system. If I had a silenced gun, maybe I could take a crack at shooting it from somewhere they wouldn't see me. But, uh, how am I getting that in there? If I can't throw it down the chute, I'm not sure. It seems like the chute is designed for you to throw a weapon down, but I, I couldn't figure out how to do it. There was no E prompt and I couldn't just drop it down, as far as I could tell, so. Of course, I would be okay with just, uh, doing this a few times, picking that, picking the lock on the surveillance thing, and then, like, I obviously get seen and everyone shoots me. As if it was like a, one, a situation where I just broke stealth at the end and then just beat, gunned it for the, the lock pick, and then everyone uh, shot me and then I still made it through just with like no health left, as we kind of did with the sniper uh, mission. I'd be okay with that if I couldn't figure anything else out, but I'd like to start by trying mm -hmm. to yoink someone's outfit, particularly the one of the guard in the laundry area, in the same way we got the guard around this laundry area. That tip about being able to anesth anesthetize people uh, even when your stealth is broken could not have come soon enough. This is like the first mission where I felt like it's absolutely crucial to do, uh, depending on how you're doing it. With the way we're doing it now with the pizza outfit, surely there's no way I'm getting sneaking up behind that pizza delivery person. Oh, hey, Pose. Good, good to meet you. Always a pleasure. Four seconds on the dot from when the doors close to when they open. It's an incredibly good elevator. Right, so where I want to be is in there with one guard tailing me, uh, but not more than one. So I think I need to wait till you head round. Except you'll see me go in there now, so I'm going to wait for you to go around as well. It's pretty tight quarters, this area. Good, and now if I... Oops, sorry. Ah. So sorry. You know the right to access. You right, you right. No lie was told there. Oh my god, you came out of there in a way that I didn't expect. Ah, you're the one who just stands there. Hang on, so if I if I run past you, though, you're going to chase me down to be like, hey, wait, you don't have access here. Oh, never mind, you're just going to start shooting. That's not good. That's not what I thought would happen at all. I got in there one time, like, perfectly, so that a guard, like, slowly followed me in, and I didn't realize how well, how good I had it. <laughs> I love that animation they have when they get into the pizza. It looks like they're like throwing it at them. They're just kind of like, ah, take it and go. <laughs> I can't really see what's happening, so maybe they're, they're just trying to wave them away. But from, from, from this angle, he <laughs> keeps looking like they're just like, take that pizza. Get it down there already. God damn, man. It takes so long. It's a really, really impatient chef. Are you going to A-pose again? Please do it for me. I'll let you have a bit of this pizza if you give it to another A-pose. Ah, fine. If pizza won't sway you, I don't know what will. So hold on a minute. What if... Wait, what? Seriously? There was no one even looking. All right, last try of the day, and then I have to go. <laughs> so sorry. You know the right to access. One guard A-posing. <laughs> That's nice. No pizza for you, I'm afraid. Uh, one A-posing, one frozen. I didn't actually think anyone saw me coming here. I heard someone say so sorry, but my alert bar didn't go up when I ran then, so I assumed they weren't looking at me. Since they didn't see me come in, but they are frozen probably until I decide to move. They'll probably see me and then everything will be bad. Okay, yeah, this is gonna open the door, they all unfroze. <laughs> Shooting each other, good guards. <laughs> Just so I understand, is this how you disable this thing? I'm never gonna survive long enough to do it, am I? Uh, you're doing good, 47. No pressure. Just keep picking that lock. Good stuff. Good stuff. There we go. It's open now. There's a gun in here. Oh, okay. So that actually is not how you disable that thing. I guess you have to shoot it. Or smack it. So that's just there for if you got this far without something smashy to break that computer. Interesting. So really the best thing would still be to anesthetize another guard so I can take their gun and then as I'm running through that room I, I, I walk there with the pizza and then I go Wah! and I shoot the security system and then just bolt for the elevator and then it'll completely wreck my stealth right at the end but it still should be well it still should be mission complete which is mostly what I care about I know I said that was the last one and I am kind of out of time but I just want to quickly before I pick it up another day and record the rest for you am I 100 million percent sure that I can't bring a gun into the and drop it into the laundry because that just seems like something I should be able to do well actually I guess at that point it kind of doesn't matter because even if I grab a silenced gun I still have to knock out one of the guards to get that far 
Well, that might matter. Anyway, there aren't many positions which I could shoot the surveillance system from without a guard noticing, I think. No mention of being able to put... Like, maybe it's it's the kind of gun, like, I can only do it with a 9mm pistol or something, but it, you'd think one of these hampers or something would have a prompt, like, press E to do something. Sorry, I just need to kill you for a minute. I promise I'll, I'll unkill you in a minute by reloading the save, but... Can I drop a 9mm down the shaft? Oh, drop item and shoot. So that only works with... Oh, okay, no, it just wasn't... I didn't see that prompt before. I feel like I ran all the way over here and couldn't find that prompt. Okay, good it. So that's what I want to do, probably. Drop those down the chute, get down there as Pizza Boy, go to the laundry place, knock out the person who's there, grab my silence guns, stow them, pizza again, walk out there with the pizza, walk close enough that I can shoot the surveillance system without anyone seeing me with the silence guns, then play pizza again, then kill the guy, come back up, go to the elevator? I don't know, but uh, I'll see you in a minute to do that. It'll be another day. Right, so it's the next day. Uh, some things. Just before I went to bed, I practiced just a little bit more on this level just to figure out the way certain things worked and stuff. And so I have some new notes and I think I have a way to the end here. So number one, uh, we near the end of last recording, we found that you actually can drop items down the uh, laundry chute. The issue with that I found going forward was that it's actually quite difficult to get to the laundry chute in the basement because there are three guards, three or four guards that patrol that main area with all the servers or whatever. Um, and there's one guard that walks back and forth in that little laundry hall. And if anyone sees you go near there or even really on like the west part of that room, they say you're not authorized here and then it's very difficult to shake them while casually walking there. Long story short, it would be difficult to get your gear out of there without knocking that person out for me, I think. And if I'm knocking them out, I'm gonna get their gun anyway. You cannot shoot through the window to, to take out that server, that monitor thing that says security enabled. But shooting it is how you disable it, at least it's one way. But you have to shoot it from within the room if you're gonna shoot it. And since I don't know how to get the guards out of there, that basically means I'm gonna go loud right at the end. Uh, but I'm not gonna take any guns into the mission with me, which mercifully means I will. I don't have any risk of leaving behind my ballers SD anywhere. I'm just gonna bring my anesthetic. Let's see if I can put the knowledge uh, that I gained last night into practice. Uh, this hopefully probably will get will take me a few tries at least. I'm only somewhat confident that disabling the security means you can just run into the elevator. I kind of assume that's what it means because why would it mean anything else? But I'm electing not to throw a weapon down the laundry chute. I'm just gonna grab one of their guns when I get there. And uh, I was think I think I only tried this once last night, so I don't know if I just got lucky or if this is something that can be easily repeated. But I think the idea, that what I'm going to employ, is to to anesthetize the one guard uh, on the uh, Sejan side of that little surveillance room. The actual the other guard almost seemed not to notice it. So, uh, but they'll notice when I use their unsilenced gun to shoot the monitor. But hopefully, I can just run to the elevator at that point, and that clears the mission. So. Let me hush and focus down here. And I'm sorry again for taking like 100, 90 to 100 minutes <laughs> just trying the fire, fire uh, route of things last time. That was maybe a bit excessive, considering it didn't pan out to anything. I do confess myself rather curious about what the uh, firefighter outfit application is, though. When I caused a ruckus, they all started booting through the, uh, the fire escape. But if they haven't done that, and I didn't open it myself... I don't really know how it could be open in time for us to walk down there as, with the firefighters outfit. Nevertheless. Mercifully, with the fiber wire not showing up on metal detectors here, uh, we should have an easy enough time getting down there, getting the kill, grabbing a gun from the guard uh, in that surveillance room, shooting the surveillance system, and then running into the elevator. And uh, now is the time, <laughs> moment of truth, to see if that is actually what will work or not. It seemed like the surveillance, it was just showing like a video feed of that elevator, basically, so... Canonically, we're doing we're doing this that no one's watching us in the elevator go up to the, the floors above. Which is a little... It's a little strange considering we're going to make a huge ruckus before that. It almost wouldn't matter if we were seen in the elevator, would it, if all the guards saw us. But, uh... It's what they've asked us to do, so I say we do it. And we found the only thing that was in that little lockbox beside the elevator is just a gun. 
which is if I'm going to knock someone out and take a gun anyway, it's, it's not worth uh, picking that. So it seemed to me if I went to the that side of any of these big generator things, they said you're not allowed to be here, which made it very hard to sneak up behind and around someone to get in between sight lines to get down that pathway, especially without it getting seen by the guard who was over there. And even though it freaks me out, this room we seem to have had no trouble most of the time just walking right on through directly to uh, our target here. Just like that. I could probably even jog for the first part of this room, but I've proven pretty bad at uh, recognizing the enemy uh, audio lines. Which is to say how far away they can hear stuff so far, so... Just play it on the safe side, I will. Sorry about it, mate. Oh my god, how did I miss? <laughs> Seems fine. Still don't know what this red button's about. It looks obvious like you're supposed to be able to hit it somehow, but uh, I don't seem to be able to from here. No E prompt. But then again, I've missed prompts before, even in this very mission. So from what I tried last time, it seems to be viable to... get right up alongside this door, and then just genuinely sneak out and anesthetize this first one. Uh, even if I do get seen, it's probably not a big deal, all things considered. But like this one, I, I, for some reason that doesn't alert them as much as you'd expect, and this one's kind of not looking. So, is that Joanna Dark from Perfect Dark? Oh hey, you're turning this way, so you're probably not gonna like this. Anyway, I don't need to anesthetize them this much, sorry, I didn't need to hold that down that much. Uh, then I get the gun, and I go, bang, that's disabled, and we get in here, mission complete? That's what I was thinking of doing, basically. I just, I, I only just realized I didn't need to actually anesthetize him that long. I could have just done it with like one or two. Right, he's, and he's shedding the uh, Pizza Boy outfit for his normal duds. Good. We've disabled the surveillance in here, so we're good. Oh, for achieving Silent Assassin rating, we've got the sawed off shotgun! Hey now, that was considered Silent Assassin. It would have been a lot easier and I would have had more anesthetic for the next mission if I had simply uh, just hit them with one or two anesthetics there and grabbed the gun, but I was uh, in my flow state and completely forgot. So clearly the, the time I spent last night studying this <laughs> Made it better, because that was first try, baby. It is a lot easier to sort of figure out how the map works and, and what, what does work and what doesn't when I don't have the pressure of my camera and hard drive running. But we were pretty close by the end of yesterday's play session, so I'm, I'm it doesn't really surprise me that that was considered a uh, silent assassin and that we got it so quickly. If I just had like 10 more minutes yesterday, we might have been able to figure it out. Anyway, uh, that's a very, very cool mission. I like that one a lot. I like all the different disguises that you could theoretically get. I like the idea of um, the fire escape as an entrance and the elevator. I like the different, like, will you intercept the pizza delivery? Where well, you go as a firefighter, there are other options as well. The shape of this mission's map is pretty cool. There's plenty of stuff I didn't figure out, but I don't have to. And uh, insofar as the Sound Assassin ranking, I was discussing with uh, um, the Elite MYT, I forgot all the numbers, <laughs> and I'm still not 100% convinced that's how you pronounce that, so I'm sorry, in the comments about what constitutes a good stealth rating. And uh, my impression is that going really loud and stupid is not as bad as getting slightly seen a few times. Oh, not slight, like, not, I don't mean just raising the alert a little, but like, if someone goes, hey, who are you? And they like go to shoot you and you run and hide immediately and like don't get shot at or, at all or anything. Um, and you like escape within a second and, and like dim down, dim down the alert. But you do that like three times. That's considered much worse than if you do what I just did where I casually got shot a bunch, changing my gun out and shooting that and then walking over the elevator in a huge, like obvious alert. But because it only happened once, uh, that didn't mess with my stealth rating too hard, it seemed. Which is neither a criticism nor a, a praising of the game. That's just an interesting factoid about how it works, basically. An interesting datum. But there you go, we did that mission. That was neat. 
So we're headed up to like the, the upper floors of this place to take out the twin brother, hopefully, and plug in a dongle somewhere. I'm nervous about that. But that's all for now. So thank you so very much for coming around to this episode of Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. Oops, I accidentally hit continue. Whoops. No, oh, oh, sorry, there's a cutscene. Sorry, I'll reload that next time. Next video on the channel is going to be some more uh, Celeste EX playthrough. And next time here, the rest of this mission. There's really kind of nothing to it once you once you have a good idea of, a, uh, of like your particular golden path. Although I reckon I, there are generally a few in these in this game series. I shouldn't say nothing to it. it. Like, it's pretty tight timing to catch the pizza boy as they run out. Pretty tight. So somewhat tight spacing to get in between those two guards to get to his room. Nevertheless, thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I'll see you around. Emerald's going to be out of here now. Peace! Right, Mr. Oh, he said that we need to...